If you're using Camtasia to create e-learning courses, then chances are that you'll want to add quizzes or surveys to your project. In this video, we'll go over how to create, edit, and produce quizzes that can help learners retain the information and allow you to assess their performance and provide credit for completion. Before adding a quiz, there's a few important points to know about. First, the dimensions of your project must be at least 640 by 480, so you'll want to make sure your project is large enough before you start working or you may end up having to adjust objects on your timeline later. Second, your project must be published using the MP4 option, as quizzes are not supported in other publishing formats such as WMV. And the third tip is that you should do all of your editing first. If you add a quiz before you finish editing all of your media and doing your trimming and cutting, then you may need to adjust your quizzes on the timeline later. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a quiz. The process for adding quizzes is a little different from adding media in that it's not an object that you add to the timeline. Quizzes are attached either to a point in the timeline so that they appear at a certain time, or you can attach it to a piece of media in the timeline so that they appear when that piece of media appears on the timeline. To add a quiz, we'll start by selecting Quiz View, which will open a different view for your timeline that is used to determine where you're going to place your quiz. After selecting Quiz View, you'll see this new area displayed above the timeline. You'll also notice these bars displayed above the timeline and above each media object in the timeline, and this is where you'll add quizzes. When you hover your mouse over the bar above the timeline, you'll see this red marker appear. Click anywhere in the space to create a timeline quiz. And once the quiz is created, you can drag it to anywhere in the timeline, so you don't need to worry if you need to move it later. If you have your mouse over the bar located above any media objects you have in your project, you'll see this pink marker appear. And this is where you'll click to attach a quiz to a media object. Something nice about a quiz attached to a media object is that it is attached to this piece of media, so it will move with this object anytime you move it on the timeline. The process of editing a timeline quiz, or a quiz attached to a media object, is the same, and they both appear the same in the finished product for your viewers. For this example, we'll add a timeline quiz, so I'll click on the bar located above the timeline, and the quizzing tab will open automatically. The quizzing tab is where we'll be doing most of the work. We'll start by adding a name at the top of the quiz here. How about we call it the Camtasia quiz? Now before we start adding questions, let's take a look at these settings here. If you want to grade your learner's performance on the quiz or provide a score, then you need to make sure the score quiz setting is selected. And if you want your students to be able to see what their score is after they complete the quiz, then you'll want to make sure the viewers can see answers after submitting option is selected. I'll go ahead and leave those options selected as I do want to provide a score, and now I'll move on to adding the questions for my quiz. By default, Camtasia automatically gets you started with one quiz question that you can simply modify by clicking on it. The first thing we'll need to do is select what type of question we would like by opening the Question Type drop-down menu, and we have options of Multiple Choice, Fill in the Blank, Short Answer, and True and False. For this example, I'll select Multiple Choice. Next, I'll enter the text for my question here. Now I'll need to scroll down in the quizzing tab and enter my answer options. The options you have for entering the answers will be different depending on what type of question it is. This is a multiple choice question, so I'll start by entering my first answer here. Now we can enter the next answer by clicking here, then typing. And now we'll enter one more answer option here. And you can indicate which of these is the correct answer by clicking in the checkbox located to the left of the correct answer. Once you're done with your first question, you can add more questions by clicking the Add Question button and repeating the process. After adding your questions, you can always go back and make edits by accessing the Quizzing tab and selecting the question you'd like to edit here. To preview the quiz, you can click the Preview button located here and it will open in your browser so you can test it out. Once you're done with the quiz, the next step would be to select the production options that will allow you to choose how you would like to see results. With Camtasia, you can have the quiz results emailed to you, or if you're using a learning management system, there's options for using SCORM so that the results can be tracked in your LMS. We'll cover all of your options for having quiz results emailed or tracking scores in an LMS in Section 7. Okay, and that sums up the process for creating and editing quizzes that can help make your e-learning projects more interactive and allow you to assess your learner's performance. Now it's up to you to come up with creative ways of using quizzes in your projects to improve retention. You can now practice what you've learned by creating a quiz. Get a feel for all of your options by adding a question using each question type, then preview it so you can see what the finished product will look like. 
In the next video, we'll go over another method for adding interactivity to your projects using what are called hotspots to create interactive activities.